Howdy y'all, you got the bold arm on the channel. Today, we are going to be referencing uh, why it's so darn difficult to price something over the phone. And you need to look at it first. This customer called in, said, hey, my brake locked up. Uh, and there's something going on in the back. My other brake locked up a couple weeks ago, but it came loose. And I asked him, you know, what it was. He told me what it was. Okay, does it have disc brakes or drum? Disc. Disc brakes. All right. Well, an individual wheel locking up is, you know, I'm thinking hydraulically. And then he said that, you know, his other one did it not too long ago. So, said, well, if it's not hydraulic, then what it is is... These Toyotas, they have a disc brake, and then they also have a drum brake on the middle of them. That's the parking brake. And if it hasn't been used, he said, well, the parking brake's been unhooked for years. Oh, okay. Well, did they take all the stuff out? I don't know. All right. Well, did anybody pull that off? Nope, nope, nope. Nobody pulled it on. So, okay. What we're looking at most likely, without taking it apart, is those parking brake shoes, because they haven't been used, the friction material has built, has got rust built up between the friction material and the shoe, and the friction material came off. And they're dancing around in there, and they lock up on time again, and it just needs to be all taken off if you're not going to use the parking brake anyway. Oh, that's great. How much are we talking about? I don't know. We shouldn't need any parts if that's what it is, because we're just going to take them off. Okay, great. You know, brings the car in. Well, we haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Uh, and my son come up today, he was going to do it because he knows how to do these. And I thought, well, you know, this is a good one. He just did the ones on his mother's car, same exact thing. We're just going to do it. So the car comes in. That's not a rotor. Who, who, who thinks it's a rotor? Normal people. Now, no, normal people know that's not a rotor. But anyway, both of them are stuck. Stuck bad. And guess what? Finally get the drum pulled off of it. And I was just tapping around with a hammer and it starts working around. Okay, we're going to come off and looky. There is nothing left except for What's crumbled up on the ground there? Yeah. No more stoppulators. We're going to go over there and try to pull the other side off, see what that one looks like, and then price out a job. Just keep working back and forth like that. The middle eventually starts scooting them off. You don't have to wail on it usually. There are times. I guess it's got the bolt holes, but if everything is going all right, they usually work pretty good. If they're this bad, they not everything. Yeah, they just bust things. Yeah, and just break the entire interior. That's what happened with mom's car. Well, that shoe looks like it's still in place. I'm going to die laughing if it falls out. Yep, there we go. Yeah. There's the drums. Yeah, they're a little bit mucked up, but they're not too bad. So most likely, we can get by with some shoes and a hardware kit. But what happens is moisture and stuff builds up behind the friction material. They're just glued on. You can see there's no rivets. They're just glued on. That rust builds up in here, and it pops the shoe off, the, the friction material off the shoe, and then it scoots around and loads up on top. Look at that. Yeah. That one's about ready to come off. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it scoots around there and jams up and locks your brake up. And then you drive back and forth a little bit and it'll pop loose. We'll go ahead and roll it here. So this is still going to be an easy repair, but it's going to be parts. Yeah. We're going to get an estimate figured up and see what the customer wants to do. So like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. Talk to you later.